And as much as you have a dream, you can bring it to reality. Learn to go out of your comfort zone because if you are comfortable, then your result may just be the same as other people who do normal things. If you want something beyond the ordinary, then you have to give in your best beyond how normal do it. The Bible says when a man is diligent in his work, he will stand before kings and not mere men. This is to say that if you must succeed, you have to be diligent, you have to be focused. Do not allow other people's successes distract you from doing what you want to do. When you are consistent, then you will overtake in life. But when you determine your success by what others have achieved in life, you will remain where you are. God has a good plan for your life, but sometimes you have to realize that faith without work is dead. And that is why the Bible says you have to work out your salvation. It is very good to trust God to help you succeed, but what's not good is if you are not making any attempt to make things work. Can you remember when God wanted to feed the 5,000 people that followed him? He asked, what do you have? And the disciples answered, only five loaves of bread and two fishes. And it was with that little thing that God used to feed 5,000 people to the point that 12 baskets was remaining. The question here is what do you have that God can multiply? Go out of your comfort zone, find something to do no matter how small it is and see how God is going to bless you. In the world today, people want a job where they will just go to the office, sit and be paid at the end of the month. But what about creativity? Successful people do not only think of working for others, they want to be their own boss so they strive to use their hands to make that come to pass. The Lord says, I will bless the works of your hands. It is good to work for someone, but it is far more better when others work for you. Therefore, try to think outside the box and create something that the world will see it useful. The cars you see today was created by someone. The phones, computers we use today were created by someone. You can also create something if you are only determined in your heart. The Lord created us in His image and likeness. Therefore, you can do what our Father has done. He created the whole universe and if you were created in His image, it means you also have the ability to create something. Do not see struggling as a bad thing because it comes with a reward which is success. You have the ability to make your life better. Whatever you want to happen in your life can come to pass if you struggle for it to happen. Do not allow the devil or anyone to deceive you that there is a short path to success. People that follow that path ended in destruction. We have a lot of people today in prison because they want to succeed the easy way. A lot of people have gone into various unspeakable things because they do not want to struggle. Do not envy such people because their success will never last. There are a lot of people that made it the right way and through the help of God, you can also make it. Do not give up because of the present hardship. Fix your mind on the reward. See how God will help you achieve it. You also need to have a positive mindset. If you think you will never be successful, then you will never become successful. But when you see yourself successful, you will surely become successful. The Bible says, as a man thinks in his heart, so is so. If you see success as something not achievable, then you will not achieve it. However, I want you to know that it is the Lord that blesses a man, and if God blesses a man, no one can cause him. Therefore, in your struggle, put God first. Matthew chapter 6 verse 33 says, Seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and every other thing will be added unto you. But God is a God of perfection. Everything God does is with precision, as He already knows everything that has happened before and things that will happen in the future. So putting your hopes on God is the best idea, as you can be sure He would never disappoint you. Your mind can be at rest that He would show you the way and guide you through. It does not matter the time you call upon God, He is ever ready to respond to you. The duration for everyone is just different because God usually waits for the right time for Him to manifest His blessings in people's lives. Calling upon God makes you a true believer. 
You involve God in everything you do, and God will answer you and show you the way. Every problem has a solution, but with God, every problem has an easy solution. Putting your trust in God is crucial as it takes a big burden off of you. If you trust in God, every other thing will fall in place. Sometimes God uses these problems to test us, and we fail the test so badly. There is no problem that is above God's power to solve, but He might just decide to use these problems to test our faith in Him. God is perfect, and He knows what He is doing at all times. Most times we have no idea He is fixing the problems already. We lose faith in Him and just give up. Most of the time, God does not just solve the problems for us. Instead, He gives us the right tools to be in a correct state of mind to be able to solve these problems ourselves. God has a way of making you feel your power is bigger than your problems. This way, you can go on to solve your problems. Life is full of different problems at different stages. Life gives so many problems that we are expected to overcome at some point. Problems faced will change your life. You can let it defeat you or you can let it develop you. The outcome of these problems depends on how you respond to the problems at that time. It is quite unfortunate that most people choose not to see how God wants to use these problems to elevate us to the next level in our lives. They react foolishly and end up making their problems a bigger one rather than pausing to consider what benefit they might bring by involving God and growing through the problem. God has been so faithful to you, and He is ready to lead you through the way He has paved for you. God will fight your battles for you and make sure everything is alright. The most important thing is to make sure you are steadfast in your prayer to God and let Him know that you trust and put all your hope in Him so much and want Him to take control of all that matters in your life. This act of praying would be the right step towards strengthening your relationship with God and God will start to regard you as His followers. God never leaves His followers and He always comes to help them whenever they need Him. God is a master planner and He already has everything planned in our lives. All our problems are already solved as long as we commit them all into His hands. God has His will for us in His life. God instructed us to always pray to Him whenever we have problems. This is definitely for a reason. God will never leave our side after He has promised to be there for us. The mistake we usually make is that we act as if we are all alone. But God is always riding with us and He will make everything easy for us. Believe your problems are over and trust in God for He is the only one that can make your dreams come true. This is evident that God is interested in helping us solve our problems and also keep His promise to man. God never fails to keep His promise to man. Life is full of ups and downs. Life is not a bed of roses and no one should even expect it to be. There are so many feelings to be felt as we are humans, so we process these feelings differently. Being sad is not a nice feeling. It makes you question yourself if your life was ever worth it, though this is a feeling that makes you appreciate happiness more. Sometimes you just get emotionally down and you feel like no one in this world is on your side. Sad moments might become sad days which might become months, but you should remember that this would not last forever, as God would always make a way. You might not have a reason to smile for that day, but it does not mean we would never have a reason to smile forever. You should always trust in God because if He says that your breakthrough is here, then you are definitely experiencing your breakthrough with all obstacles already removed by Him.